so continuing with our design I tweak a bit the code generated by ChatGDP you can see I set some images in our lists that ChatGDP generated for us our CSS to place these images with image tags I set the same logo I just took a logo from internet uh, for now we are going to generate now uh, the real images using AI using deep AI uh, the background image is in here deleted some code and adjusted a bit some codes in here so now we are going to use deep AI oh and the images I just populated this with in the, in the image directory I set the icon with the same logo by doing this the title anyways let's go here with Google image generator so uh, we are some uh, let's say the coffee shop it's on an industrial area uh, on a city a modern city let's say there are some developer buildings and other companies tech companies so let's just use something more techy here like this robot this looks like a mad robot uh, so we're gonna create a logo coffee logo modern coffee logo generate so we have our logo here download and we need a background image download and I think this is enough I'm going to rename this as coffee back ground and coffee logo is more transparent
So now you have it. This is using Deep AI, a complete static website using ChatGTP and Deep AI. Now the business should provide their menu, their logo, but if not, you can create the logos images with Deep AI. And if there's a menu, well, uh, they must provide at least some sort of information. We need an error page. I haven't set it here, the error page, but an error page is required on the bucket. So if a user tries to access something beyond our content, an error page will appear. So I type here glitch error page, selecting this filter, and I will generate that error page. This look fun. This is fun. Okay. Now we have our error page for all S3 bucket which acts for it and let's say a user doesn't go for the landing page and type something else like coffee just coffee or something like that your file cannot be accessed error file not found but on Amazon they will redirect you or Amazon Web Services to this error page so in the next section I will teach you how to host this on AWS S3 bucket so now we generated all of this which is part of the coffee shop information but we need to host it this on AWS S3 